ICRC has seven orthopedic centers around the country, and the program started in 1988, 26 years before from now. And at the beginning, the program started with the, the assisting only amputees uh, and war wounded, and, uh, and then. Uh, after a few years, in 93-94, there was a research, they saw there was many other disabled, not directly related to war, but they were in need of assistance. And uh, then ICRC decided to open the door for all motor disabled, which of course the job became three, four times bigger. This is the metal component factory. We produce these components in this workshop, which are the mm, joint for orthosis and the component for wheelchair. This man, he is blind, but he does his job. He is assembling the crutches. Now he is making the crutches for children. The work starts from here. You see this is a shape of a leg, uh, a complete leg, it is a cast. They do some modification and then it will go to the, that part and they wrap the plastic around and you get the socket. And here is the alignment area that they do the alignment on the orthosis. We make devices to those people, they, they have their limb, but they cannot use it, they, they are paralyzed. For example, this is an orthosis waiting to be fit. When they walk, it is locked. When they sit, they can unlock it to sit. This is for children, they burn with club feet. And this is it called Ponsiti boot or shoes that they have different ang angle to, to fix it for a while to correct the deformity of the feet of the children. Here is the female workshop which they do exactly the same job as the man does, but they make devices for female patients and children, they come with their mother or with their sister. For a while, for some time, the patient, they walk with, without cosmetic part. You see, this is unfinished prosthesis, which is uh, for practicing for some days. And then once you are sure it doesn't hurt them, there is no complication, it is well fed, then we put the cosmetic part and it become something like this one. This is the final one. Every day they come and they do their practice in here. Uh, in the morning they come and then in the evening they go back. This patient, for example, she lost her leg in a landmine uh, explosion. Now she came to walk with the prosthesis and to practice. And once we are sure that it works, it doesn't hurt her, then uh, we put the cosmetic part and uh, the prosthesis will be delivered to her. Every day there is an individual evaluation of each patient by technician, orthopedic technician and physiotherapist. They have to see the length, they have to see the alignment and uh, 
and then to follow. And the other physiotherapists, they time to time they check their stump if it is red or if there is there are mark uh, to 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 correct the the devices they get or the prosthesis they get. This is the room for the treatment of spinal cord injury patients, which is the most vulnerable patients that they are treating here. You know the situation of the, the people, economically especially, at home is very poor and uh, easily they have no sensation, they get pressure sore. And to heal this pressure sore, it takes month and month and sometimes we are replacing hospital there is no other places to refer them and we must we have to do something for them uh, we help them at home as well as here all what we have seen today in this center uh, all this process uh, the activity here uh, it is done in Jalalabad as well. Even after the incident happened in Jalalabad, they continued to uh, help and to assist the needy people in Jalalabad as well.